Hello students, how are you all? So today we will study about the chapter 11 of our SST book that is India, the land of festivals. So students, this is the second part. So we have already uh, discussed about the Independence Day, Children's Day, Diwali, Christmas. And we have uh, learned about the national festivals that is Independence Day, Republic Day and the Gandhi Jayanti. Now we will uh, study about the religious festivals which we celebrate in India. So let's begin. India is a land of many religions. Festivals celebrated by people of different religions are called religious festivals. Some of the religious festivals of India are explained here. So students, uh, in our India, we use, uh, there are many communities live in India and because of that we used to celebrate a lot of festivals in India. So let's begin with the first one, that is Diwali. Diwali, the festival of light, is the biggest religious festival of the Hindus. It celebrates the return of Lord Ram, Lakshman and Sita to Ayodhya. After 14 years of exile, houses, shops, markets are decorated with diyas, candles, fitons and lights. Goddess, Lak uh, Goddess Lakshmi is worshipped on this day. People exchange sweets, gifts with each other. So students, Diwali is the festival of light. It is one of the more, uh, biggest festival celebrated in India. Diwali is celebrated of returning of Lord Ram, Lakshman and Sita. After 14 years of exile, we light candles and decorate our homes with rangolis and exchange the sweets with each other. So now there is another one that is Dashahara. So Dashahara is a festival that makes the victory of good over evil. On this day, Lord Ram killed Ravan. It is a 10 day long celebration and on the 10th day the huge effigies of Ravan, Kumbhakaran and Meghnath are buried. Prior to the Shara in the eastern part of India, Durga Puja is celebrated with great pumps and shows. So students, the Shara is a popular Hindu festival that is also known as Vijaya Dashmi that celebrates the victory of good over evil. The Shara is one of the largest, fest longest festival in the Hindu tradition, which is uh, celebrated for 10 days, starting with the nine nights, with, which is known as Navratri. And the last day is called the Vijaya Dashmi. And on that day, we used to burn the uh, effigies or the, or of Ravan, Kumbhakaran and Meghnath. So the next one is Eid. Eid is celebrated at the end of Ramzan, the holy month of fasting. People wear new clothes and offer prayers at the mosque. They wish each other Eid Mubarak. Sivai and other delicious, delicious dishes are enjoyed with family and friends. It is an occasion to express love and friendship. So students, Eid is also known as Eid Fitr which is also known as Ramzan. It signifies the end of month of Ramadan. It is called as festival of breaking fast. Eid is biggest festival of Muslim community. Ramadan is called the holy month of Muslim community. So another one is the Christmas. Christmas. Christmas is celebrated on December 25. It is celebrated on the birth birthday of Jesus Christ. People offer prayer, special prayer, uh, prayers at the churches. A Christmas tree is decorated and gifts are exchanged. Children eagerly wait for gifts from Santa Claus. People bake cakes, sing car carols and wish each other Merry Christmas. So student Christmas is celebrated with great pomp and shows. Houses are decorated and it is believed and it is believed that Santa Claus comes and gives children on this day. Jesus Christ was born on this beautiful day of Christmas. Christians also decorate the Christmas tree. Christians is, Christmas is a wonderful holy festival for the Christian, Christian people. 
so students this is how we have come to the end of the part 2 of this chapter in the another part of this chapter we will discuss the further topics so thank you class have a nice day